There we go. Now we're ready to go. Hello! Hello and welcome, friend. I'm mostly alive, more or less. Um, we're gonna play some Pokemon. <laughs> And if we have too many things die, we can blame it on the Lyme disease, <laughs> so... <laughs> Good stuff, right? We have an excuse for fucking up. It's also, like, very freaking loud, so... There we go. That's a little bit better. I don't think I can, like... Turn it down, right? No. Tools? No. Yeah, no. I have no way of, like, turning it down. I mean, I could, like, turn it down in Windows, but, like, fuck all that, right? Anyways, so, uh, yeah. Oh, shit, I gotta load my, my thingy. I forgot all about my thingy. Okay. Uh, Nuzlocke. So we know, like, what our team is and what we're coming up with and all that. I almost completely forgot. How do I get into settings? There we go. Um, we need blue screen, please. There we go, okay, <laughs> like everything disappeared. I was concerned for a moment. There we go. So we have, we have Mon, we have, uh, I don't remember everything's like names. We have Luna, who is a Jigglypuff. We have Corndog, who is, is that the Magikarp? I think that's Magikarp, yeah, Corndog the Magikarp. That's the Mon that I forgot about. I was telling somebody about the run the other day, and, uh, yeah, I couldn't remember that. Anyways, then we have Tony the Spearow, Garlic the Bulbasaur, Wendell the Beedrill, and Paul the Pidgey. Yeah, I remember all those ones. Drink. Let's go. Hmm. It's another thing I need to do. I need to bring up the list of requested names. Uh, specifically, that's the only one I care about at the moment. There we go. Game is very loud? I know, isn't it freaking loud though? <laughs> is it like too loud, like you can't hear me loud? I can turn it down in Windows a little bit. It's a little louder than me? How is it louder than me? That should actually be impossible. Should be. I mean, I believe you, but like, should be impossible. I think it's just because it's like so Game Boy-esque. Chocobo, hello. But no, it's fine though. We, we got this here. I'll take it from 85 down to 69. There we go. 69, the perfect number. <laughs> is that better though? It's not, like, maxing out, because I have a limiter running, that's why I said it should technically be impossible for it to be louder than me. Like, strictly, scientifically, number-speaking, I guess, whatever. Um, but anyways, it's not the way hearing actually works, though. It, it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Point is, <laughs> it, it was, like, peaking on the limiter that I had. So I, that's why I knew that it had to be, like, sounding a bit loud. Plus, it was very loud sounding to me. But, uh, I turned it down to 69 in Windows. It should hopefully be better now. Noodle, hello! Congrats on still being alive? Thank you! Yeah, I'm alive! <laughs> I haven't died yet! Yay! <laughs> I, uh, so, update for everybody, I guess. I, I should do that. I'm... should be fine. I am fine. Like, I just... Um, so I, I was in the hospital because very strange illness, didn't know what it was, um, get there, suspected viral meningitis, um, does, like, doctor comes in full gear, you know, like the freaking, the mask on, the gloves on, like all the PPE, and is, like, asking me questions and stuff, um, we, he, notices that I have like a history of cysts so he asked me about that and I'm like yeah you know my my arms might have a couple at the moment but it could just be swollen lymph nodes so he checks that and he said yeah no that all checks out it's like any other ones I'm like oh yeah I do have one small one under my ass cheek basically right and uh, so he's like can I see it and I'm like of course and I show it to him and he says okay well I think we just found the problem um it looks like 
a tick bite. Do you spend any time outside, um, or have you recently? And I was like, yeah, I, you know, um, hike pretty regularly, but like it didn't, it looked fine, you know, whenever I checked it last. In fact, it was getting smaller. And he was like, no, nah, that's, that looks like a tick rash to me. Um, and I was like, okay. He was like, well, we can test, but by the time the tests come back, it could be too late. So we're just gonna start treatment and uh, get you on your way, basically. And so, like, a little scary to hear, but I was like, okay, you know, whatever, you're the doctor. If that's what you think we should do, that's what we'll do. So we started treatment, whatever, get home. Um, there's more to it than that, but that, that's the gist of it. I have Lyme disease. It's just, it progressed either super quickly um, to, like, it went straight to the neurologic phase, which usually doesn't happen. Technically, it can happen as quickly as three days after the disease starts but it generally doesn't start for a couple of weeks to a month after the disease starts um mine went straight to it i had like two days of symptoms my only symptom being i was very exhausted and then suddenly it started attacking my nervous system which brings the possibility that it's Lyme meningitis, which is basically, from my understanding, it's when instead of just like attacking the central nervous system, it, that's when it actually gets into the central nervous system and starts affecting the menges that surround like your brain and spine and all that. Um, the word meningitis is very scary, but thankfully it's fine. Um, I forget like everything from last week. Uh, Lyme meningitis specifically, even though it it is a bacteria, and bacterial meningitis is very dangerous, Lyme meningitis specifically isn't, like, nearly as bad as the other types. Um, it can be treated at home, and it's treated the same way as regular Lyme disease is, just with much more antibiotics, or much longer course of antibiotics. But it's the same antibiotic, same dose, just for longer. So anyways, that's why he was like, we're just going to start treatment, and then if things get worse or don't get better, you're coming back to the hospital. Basically. Um, thankfully, things have gotten a bit better. I am still dealing with a lot of brain problems, like just being tired and uh, having like a constant mental fog. Um ringing in my ears, headache, uh, neck pain and stiffness, etc. But the the pain part of it has gotten much better. I will say. My, my head doesn't hurt nearly as much as it was um, whenever I went to the hospital. My neck, I can move it without, like, a ton of pain as long as I keep up with some just, you know, over-the-counter pain medication and whatnot. So, like, it's not nearly as bad as it was it's just it's hard to think straight which i mean <laughs> anybody who's been watching pretty regularly should know is already an issue for me so like oof but <laughs> but it's fine we got this um and yeah as long as i as long as i keep up with the antibiotics though there's like very little risk of uh any Oh, that was the wrong move. Uh, of any, like, long-term permanent... Not long-term. There's very little risk of any permanent damage, is what I was trying to say. Um, as far as recovery goes, it could be anywhere from... It, it's just normal Lyme disease recovery, so it could be, like, a couple of weeks. It could be six months. It could be longer. The majority of cases, though, completely clear up within six months. Most cases clear up sooner than six months, to be clear. But Lyme does come with um, a long-term element that there is no real treatment for or anything. It just kind of is what it is. And uh, you just kind of have to accept it. And it can go for six months or longer. But generally, no more than six months. So... And, you know, hopeful, of course, that it'll be the more common couple of weeks and everything will be back to normal type of thing. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Geodude has Zoomer hair? I was not paying attention to Geodude at all. What, what does Geodude's hair look like? Why is it- why is it Zoomer? Why is Geodude zooming, bro? What is he doing with his life? Good job on your failing, Mr. Zubat. Uh, right now, by the way, we're just grinding. That's- <laughs> that's all we're doing for a bit. We're trying to get Jigglypuff up to a level close to- I guess we could go ahead and start Magikarp too, that way we don't have to come back to the Pokemon Center as much. But we're trying to get Jigglypuff up to, um, around 14-ish. Our level cap is 18 right now. So we don't want to go any higher than that, so my goal is like 14, 15 with each Mon, right around there. And then, um, and then like, make our way through the cave and try to spread out the experience without going over 18. It's kind of where we're at. Might be a good idea, honestly, to start trying to find more trainers, too, now that I think about it just so that we can um, make use of the extra experience from the trainers. Not only will it make the grinding a little bit faster, but it'll make it less likely that we go over our, our limit of 18. Because being at 18 is fine. Anything over, though, is going to be an issue, so we don't want to do that. There's also the problem of I don't remember this cave very well <laughs> like at all <laughs> even so you know oh i can't escape you bastard run away oh my god well, now we definitely want to run away not dealing with that supersonic um zoo bats i swear to god if it's low level we'll kill it it's not low level I guess we'll... So what it uses... Leech Life. Which is a poison move, right? Well, Garlic's already 15. How will Paul do? I don't want to risk giving up Spiro. I'd rather risk Pidgey. Which seems... seems fine. You're not resistant to normal type, are you? I wouldn't think so. I'm terrible at my my tables for, for Pokemon. <laughs> like, what things are resistant to and strong against and all that. Absolutely terrible at it. I think it's a bug move in the other games. It could be a bug move in this game, too. I'm not positive. I, I think poison? But I'd have to, like, look it up on Bulbapedia or something to know for sure. Um, you're a bug, Tony. Switch. We need to switch out Magikarp for our corn dog for Luna now, because Luna's at a level where like we don't have to worry about her dying in one hit. But. Corn dog, it's like very dangerous to switch in even for most mon. Because obviously most mon deal damage and then yeah. Corn dog takes one wrong hit and then there goes our possible gear dose for later in the game, which would suck. But if they want to keep throwing out low level metapods that know nothing but harden, then by all means, like <laughs> We can train Corn Dog right up. Tony Bird of Prey. Wait, that wasn't enough for Corn Dog to get a level. I'm surprised. I mean, I know it's just a Metapod, but still, like. Oh nope, don't care. Go away. Uh, Pokemon, Luna, Switch, Corndog. And then just for me, what I like to do when I'm grinding is put my lowest level at the bottom. 
have them like kind of sorted by level. You look like a rock type. Or like <laughs> like a rock type user, I guess not. Oh no, you're a mad scientist or super nerd, whatever they call them in this one. Magnemite. Okay, well <laughs> we we definitely want to get corn dog the hell out of there. Um that also means that like Tony and Paul are going to be bad for it. Garlic though. Uh, I don't want to get levels on garlic if we can help it, so hopefully Wendell can handle. Oh, well, I mean, if it only knows Tackle, then I guess that's fine too, but... You're not resistant to normal type, are you? Metal wasn't a thing yet, right? That's, that's Gen 2, I'm pretty sure. Where metal became a thing. Pretty sure. Hey, there we go. Corn dog's finally leveling up. Can we, Wendell? What are you actually? You're bug and poison. No flying type. Okay. Think it's just electric. I'm pretty sure it is as well. Said so I don't. I I'm I'm almost completely positive. That, oh wait, Voltorb wouldn't know explosion this early, would it? Or self-destruct? I hope not. But anyways, uh, I'm, I'm fairly positive that metal wasn't added until the second generation, because that's when they added like Steelix and Scizor and stuff like that as uh, new evolutions to help show off the new type. So I'm fairly certain we don't have to worry about metal being a thing. And if it was metal, I think... Isn't metal resistant to normal type moves? I could be wrong on that, but that sounds right to me, you know? They weren't selling escape ropes in the first shop, were they? The first uh, Pokemart? I don't think they did, but maybe? Having an escape rope would be really handy for the caves here. Are there more fish in this game to catch? Eventually, yes. Um, or... Because I think, what is it? The, the, uh, the first town. Not Pallet Town, but the first one after that. Viridian? Is it Viridian City? Um, anyways, it has a little spot where you can fish, but I don't think there's any grass anywhere there, so we have to fish there. There are more areas that we can fish, of course. It's just there's not that many areas where we would want to fish instead of catching in grass, that's all. Is there anyone we want to worry about healing before we go into this battle? No, we should be fine. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Goldine, I wanted to request Finn. But if there's Goldine, Goldie sounds fun. Make your pick and send it in, dude. I'll do either one. Why Finn? Oh, because it's fish, Finn? That, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I'm guessing that's why. <laughs> it's a human name that goes with fishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. So I figured it out. I put it together. It just took me a second. That's all. How many mon did she have? One, two. Useless crit. Thanks, game. Hey, corn dogs up to level seven. I don't know why Bell Sprout feels like a Gen two Pokemon to me. Was it Gen two that they had like a Bell Sprout Tower or something? It just it feels very Gen two to me, and I'm not positive why. Um, I doing a switch, not because I'm worried about Tony taking too much damage, but just because I want to spread out the experience a little bit. 
I don't want it all to go to, to Tony or to Paul or anyone. That's honestly one of the things I'm most worried about is accidentally over leveling and then being locked out of Mon. Okay, I think we need to go back. Run away? Hey, good job. Okay, we'll go back after this one. I I'm trying to explore the whole, like, first floor here, and then we'll start checking the caves, but I can't remember, like, how many fights we're going to be getting into. Alright, corn dog, run away for... Run away for Paul. That did more than I was hoping. That does a lot more than I was hoping. I should have used Quick Attack, but whatever. Never buy the popcorn you did ever again. What's wrong with the popcorn that I bought? Alright, Paul's level 15. Another Rattata. You know what? Sand Attack first? And then... Let's go ahead and send in Tony. Take him out with some pecs, man. Don't Spiro, like, eat Rattata. Oh, fuck me. Pop's too crazy, you just stepped on a kernel and it hurt. <laughs> Don't be careful where you step, dummy. So not Zubat. What level are you? 10. Luna. Luna should be able to handle. Oh, you know, Supersonic. That's nice. Uh, let's try Sing. If I could get you to sleep, that would be very nice. It hurt itself in its confusion. Okay. Um. Garlic. Wendell. <laughs> Somebody needs to come out here that resists or... It misses the stupid supersonic. And at the very least, we'll spread out the experience a lot. We're definitely gonna go back after this, though. Oh my god, the freaking supersonic, though. This is why I hate Zubat, man. Yeah, 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 super effective. Uh, seed it. That was not worth it at all. Don't crit. If you crit, I'm probably dead. That was not worth it at all. Okay. Now that you're back to almost full life again. Back to Wendell. <laughs> I swear to god, dude, if we die to a freaking Zubat. Get our one HP back. Thanks, game. Oh my god, why'd you miss, bro? <laughs> Stupid thing's gonna get a full heal off. We missed again? <laughs> oh my god. Um. Tony. Come on, Tony. Failed. Let's freaking go. Okay. Peck. <laughs> One freaking out. Failed again. Get wrecked. Okay, and then the leech seed came in clutch with the kill. Let's freaking go, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I freaking hate Zubat so much. We're gonna use a potion on somebody. Wendell, I think. Just for our trip out of here, because we don't have... Oh, we do have an escape rope. We should probably save that until we're, like, deeper in here, though. So, Wendell, go ahead, take a potion. Just for any encounters that we get in on the way out of here. In case we're not able to run away from it quickly enough. Ooh.
Luna has so little health, though. I think we just gotta run away. Definitely running from the zoo vet, man. Screw the zoo vets. Can't stand these stupid things. <laughs> I hate them. Well, it was level 6. We probably should have fought it for the XP. I forget what level they get supersonic at, but once they hit that level, it's like, nah. Just, just run away from them. We can take this one on, though, I think. I want to say it's like 9 or something like that that they start using supersonic. Getting corn dog to gear dose would be amazing. I also realized that we're like out of Pokeballs, so I think we're gonna make a quick trip back to town and see. Because if they sell escape ropes, I'd love to pick up a couple of those. Um, do, how many antidotes do we have? That's the wrong menu. We have two antidotes, we're actually okay on that. Save the rare candy for now. What's TM34? Bide? No, I'm good. I'd rather not take extra hits if I don't have to. A deposit. Hmm, TM34. And we'll deposit the rare candy for now. Save it until, like... We're trying to grind at a higher level. I was thinking a lot, too, about the Elite Four. And uh, one thing we might do, if we can, is save a bunch of rare candies. Because, like, technically, level cap would be whatever fight you're currently in, right? So, at the beginning of the Elite Four, I'm just going to throw numbers out there because I can't remember exactly what it is. But our level cap might be 54. But by the end of the Elite Four, fighting the champion... Our level cap could be 64. So I'm like, bro, that's a big difference. <laughs> so our options are basically use the final fight, the champion, as our level cap. Or we can save all of our rare candies if we get enough of them. And then level our mon between fights. I don't know for sure which one I want to do. I feel like... I feel like to stay true to the rules, we should... do it using the rare candy. But at the same time, it's like... I don't know. That's just a lot. <laughs> oh, did I use sing? I meant to use pound. Anyways, um... Because assuming that we get, like, one or two levels from the fights themselves... Right, that's still, we have six Mon. So that's like one level each Mon, roughly, that we might be getting. Just from, oh, yeah, okay, this is fun. From the fights. And we need ten levels per Mon. So, like, that's, that's just a lot of freaking rare candies, is what I'm saying. So I don't know if we're going to have enough. Save candies for ending round. You never know what can happen exactly. That's more or less what I'm thinking. Oh, they do sell freaking burn he or burn heels. Escape ropes. They're kind of expensive, but let's go ahead and buy nine Pokeballs. And then just like two escape ropes for safety. Plus we have that one already. We have a couple antidotes. I think we should be fine. Like, the Awakening and Paralyze heal and all that isn't going to do anything for us because we can't really do anything in battle. Unless, I think sleep does actually persist through fights, through encounters. It's like, Awakening could actually come in handy, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Corn Dog's not fighting anything right now. Corn dog, corn, corn dog's job is to sit there and look pretty, and that's that's pretty much it. We should live even through a crit. Half 
Having those escape ropes makes me feel a lot better, honestly. I feel like that's gonna really come in clutch at some point. We could buy, like, a crap ton of potions, or, well, we could buy some potions. We can't really buy that many, because we're broke boys, but, <laughs> but, like, we could buy a few potions. And that would certainly help for when we get deeper in this, uh, cave here. But, like, we can't completely rely on them either. other things are going to become issues too, like uh, PP and things eventually. Bro, <laughs> I literally just took a drink. Melee attack just redeemed hydrate. Ah! <laughs> now things are breaking! Hmm. There you go. Drink, drank, drunk. Didn't affect Zubat. Well, Zubat can get fucked. How about that? How do you feel about that, Zubat? Hmm. Trying to remember what we were doing. <laughs> Gentle reminder, brain don't work. Brain is dead. Okay, we're back. We're good. Oh. What level does Corndog get any moves in this game? Or is it not until Gyarados that Corndog actually, like, becomes somewhat useful? I know, at least in later games, I know Magikarp can get Tackle eventually, right? But I can't remember in Gen 1 how it works. Quick Attack or something would be really nice on Luna. I like Luna, but they a bit slow. Geodude, let's go. Wait. Hmm. Geodude, you know what? Screw it. Send out garlic. Hair. <laughs> yeah. The hair. I'm kind of... I kind of wish we would have done Pokemon Yellow instead. Just because I want to do, like, all of the special additions up until there aren't any more of them. But, like, whenever we do second gen, I, I want to do Crystal as long as, like, I can find a copy of Crystal. Um, and then whenever we get to third gen, I would like to do... Well, we'll do either fire red or leaf green. Probably leaf green since we're doing red now. And then... Um... Emerald. Wait, yeah. And then emerald, and then... Uh... Diamond, pearl, what's the other one? Help! <laughs> I can't think of what the special one for that for that gen is. My brain is dead. But anyways, you guys get the point. So I kind of wish we were doing Pokemon Yellow right now, but oh well. Uh, Luna's probably fine. What I do want to look up real quick, though, is the move set. Uh, gen 1 move set. Um... <laughs> Pokemon database. Search for Jigglypuff. I'm just trying to decide if we should evolve Jigglypuff now that we have our Moonstone, or if we should wait. Depending on the move set, we might want to do one or the other. So. Platinum! Thank you! Yeah, no, I could not remember that for the freaking life of me. 
So she gets uh, disable at 14. Defense card. I need to like have these open side by side to see them. And then Wigglytuff gets. Wigglytuff doesn't learn any moves. <laughs> at all. Zero. <laughs> okay. So. I guess that settles that for us. We want to... <laughs> you will eventually get Snorlax? That's true. Well, maybe. Probably. We'll try. Snorlax, from what I remember, is actually pretty hard. Because um, they have like a super high or low catch rate, whatever you want to call it. Um, and just kind of a strong mon in general. And that'll probably replace Wigglytuff, Jigglypuff at that point. Probably. Although, I know Jigglypuff is somebody's favorite, so yeah, I'm sure they want me to keep it. But anyways, um, yeah, see, there comes the tears. <laughs> Point is, though, we want to, we don't want to evolve Jigglypuff until at least level 34, unless we use TMs. Because we could teach Body Slam through TM, which is what Jigglypuff gets at 34. Um, because right now Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff gets Double Slap at 24, which is kind of it's actually it's very mad because of accuracy. Body Slam though isn't bad, but not until 30 freaking four. We could teach Double Edge. Body slam. Yeah, I think we're just gonna end up having to use freaking TMs if we keep Jigglypuff. Like, the moves that she naturally learns, Luna naturally learns, are just... It's garbage. It's really bad. Try attack would be nice. Or, like, Seismic Toss wouldn't be terrible. can also learn strength on Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, though, which, I mean, isn't technically as good as Body Slam, but it's pretty decent. So the question is, though, do we, hmm, I don't think we want to take Jigglypuff clear to 34, so I think we just evolve now to get the benefit, the stat benefit. Yeah. And then we just rely on TMs. Is Minimize a Gen 1 move? I don't remember if Minimize is a Gen 1 move. I feel like that's a Gen 2 thing. Or Gen... Gen something thing. At the very least, I don't remember it showing up <laughs> on my playthrough of, of Red, but I don't remember for sure. Alright, so Luna's evolved now. You're probably a Rock-type user. Based on your sprite? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Level 10. So you're not even that high of a level. So we should be fine. Go on out, Luna. Don't die. We literally just used a Moonstone on you. Okay, that's fine. Water gun. Beautiful. Love it. I mean, it was a crit. I don't know if we would have gotten that lucky without the crit. But if we need to, we can swap into garlic. Aw, bro. One freaking... <laughs> one freaking HP left. Garbage. There's those levels, though. Let's go. I mean, disable wouldn't have been terrible. I guess we could have gotten disable at level 14 before we... Oh, I forgot how fast Onyx was. Um... Yeah, I guess that could have been handy, actually, but, like, oh, well. Okay, so that should be everything in the cave besides, like, the, the downstairs section. So we're going to go ahead and start exploring that. But I think we need to go heal again first. 
Yeah, we'll kill any, like, low-level Zubats or Geodudes or anything we find for the XP. Everything else, though, we're just gonna try to get the hell away from. Uh, who still needs XP? Luna, but Luna's low on health. So it's just Tony. Tony's the only one. How did freaking Paul end up a higher level than Tony is what I want to know. Because I like Tony a lot more than I like Paul. <laughs> Just never been a big fan of Pidgey. I mean, I'm not like a huge Spiro Firo stan either, but... I don't know, I like it better than Pidgey at least, though. Pidgeot and Pidgeotto aren't terrible. But it's, it's, it's still just meh. Oh, I forgot I, uh... Oh, nope, I didn't mean to put Jigglypuff back in here. We gotta, how do we evolve? Here we go. Is this the evolve button? Looks like the evolve button. Yeah, Wigglytuff, there we go. Wigglytuff spray is so much bigger than all the other ones. <laughs> Why is it so much bigger? That's like a ridiculous amount. Her ears being cut off, it takes up so much space. I know Chocobo, you said that Paris is like one of the lowest tier Mon or whatever in Gen 1, but I still kind of wish we would have got a Paris instead of a Zubat. I like Paris, <laughs> I don't like Zubat. Weren't we saying something about how the encounter rate seems pretty low in here? <laughs> I take it back. This encounter rate is ass. And I don't want to waste the freaking escape ropes. Because I can just see a situation where, like, we get down to the bottom right before the, the rocket fight. Or the, the fossil nerd, super nerd, I... Don't remember what the NPC's actually called, but right before we get to them... Ooh, Fury Attack. And we're, like, dying and need to escape. So in that case, I think we'll be thankful that we saved the... the escape ropes. Minimize is Gen 1, okay. Good to know. Said if we get the TM for it, then yeah, I'll gladly use Body Slam. Although, our Body Slam, Strength is a normal type move too, and Strength we're gonna have to have. Because, you know, dungeons. So I wonder, like, is Minimize ever really used by the NPCs in red? So I don't, I just, I don't remember it coming up on the playthrough I did a few months ago. But my memory is also absolute dog shit, so it's it's perfectly possible it is used at some point. I just don't remember. All right, let's start exploring the next level. We could look up a map, but I feel like that's, yeah. Only really used by Jigglypuff line and Grimer line. Oh. Okay, yeah. I don't think it's something we're going to have to worry about then. The minimize thing. So I don't think there's any major NPCs, at least, that use Jigglypuff or Grimer. Not that I can think of off the top of my head, at least. Oh, we should have looked up while we were in there, looking up the uh, move set for Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. We should have looked up Magikarps. There's a notorious Jigglypuff fight, you think? Really? Bruh. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. A Victory Road Trainer. Imagine losing like the entire run on Victory Road. HP up. We'll save that for now. I mean, we know for sure we're gonna try and keep garlic. We could use it on garlic. 
but the rest of the mon are all like questionable. I want to keep Luna just because it's a, a special named mon. Um, in the same way that like I'd keep Eevee if we got Eevee. Uh, or any other like ones that people specifically requested unless they're just ass for our team. But I honestly don't feel like Wigglytuff is terrible, it's just Snorlax would be better. A better, like, direct replacement. Trainers in that bad, but it's hard to hit and at the end of the cave, if you remember correctly. Yeah, I can definitely see why that's kind of ass. Can we put you to sleep? Rattata, like, screwed us up last time. Nope, okay. I still don't know if stab is a thing in this gen or not. Oh my god, and we missed the 100% accurate move. Ha! Um. Wendell. Or wait, Spiro just got. Fu or not Spiro, Tony just got Fury Attack. We should have used Tony. Oh well. We already got Wendell out. It's your turn, Wendell. Have fun. I think it's going to end up using Supersonic. That's why I just decided to stay here, even though I know super effective. Yeah. I was like, any, any damage we can get is good damage before that stupid freaking Supersonic comes out. Failed, get fucked, and just a peck should be fine. Stab is in Gen 1, okay. I kind of felt like it would be, because like, it seems like such an integral part of Pokemon, you know? having the same type attack bonus, but you never freaking know, though, man. There's a lot of things that personally I would think would be in Gen 1 that just aren't. Like, breeding and eggs and uh, half of the types that are in the game <laughs> now. And moves. There's so many moves that are missing from Gen 1. Paul. Oh wait, you don't have a flying move. When does Paul get a flying move? <laughs> Watch Paul never get the ability, like any any type of flying moves, man. That would be garbage. There was another ladder down here somewhere, right? Wasn't there? Am I on crack? <laughs> I thought there were two ladders over in this area. I'm pretty sure the one we actually need to go down is the one right behind that rock-type trainer that we fought. Going purely off of memory here? Oh, maybe I was thinking of this one. But I thought there were two, like, over there in that corner. I hope whatever team we end up having, because, like, right now, the only thing I really want to do is I want to get rid of Pidgey 4. Some kind of, like, fire type. Maybe we'll go for Flareon. For our fire type. Because I would like to have a flying type. So I don't want to get rid of both Pidgey and Spearow. Um, and then... But I really want some sort of fire type. I think that would be very handy to have. And then honestly, like, Beedrill, I'm not... I like... Beedrill, kind of, but I don't actually think Beedrill's that good, so I wouldn't mind getting rid of Beedrill eventually. 
but because I feel that way, I'm also like, Beedrill can stay, and if it dies, it dies sort of thing, too. So, like, yeah. And then, Garlic are obviously want to keep. Gyarados is a very good water type, so we want to keep that. Um, Jigglypuff is a, a special mon, so we want to keep that. Like, Flareon is best evolution. Oh, Mega Punch. What's the... Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh. Need, like, a third tab just for searching for things. So it's not messing up the thingy there. Gen 1... Moves. Pokemon moves from Gen 1. Search for Mega Punch. It's only 85% accurate. Uh... Hmm. So something different would be much better. Like... Strength, for instance, because strength, I think, is an 80 power, but 100 accuracy. But it's a very strong normal type move to have for now. We're not really struggling at the moment, though, so I think we'll, we'll, we won't worry about it at the moment. Because that's the sort of thing that we might want to give to, say, Snorlax later on if we... If, if Luna either dies or if we decide to switch to... Snorlax, or whatever the case may be. Or maybe one of our other Mon can learn it eventually, even. Um, swap to Tony. Please don't Supersonic. Leech Life, thank you. And then... Fury Attack. We'll lose... Honestly... Peck's been doing really well for us against Zubats. And there's the Supersonic. Um, weak, weak. I guess it has to be... I guess it has to be Paul. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's because of the blue. I'm using a blue screen as the uh, background for, for the little display there. Um, and it's grabbing, like... It just so happens to be almost the exact same shade of blue as the blue screen, Luna's eye. So it's uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of destroying her eyeball there, but I don't know what Ekans is gonna have. Okay, we have antidotes if we get poisoned, but hopefully, no, we're fine. Cool, another rocket member down. this have something in it? It does. An ether. Could come in handy. Is that walkable? No, that looked like road to me. Maybe it is, but for, like, later. How's everybody looking? Honestly, not all that bad. The only thing I'm kind of worried about are, are Zubats at the moment. Zubats are dicks. Level 6 Zubat, though, we can take that. Ooh, nice crit, too, dude. Destroyed in one go. Positive, there's like hidden items in here. So I'm clicking trying to find them as we move. That's why I'm not running. Can't remember if we're supposed to go up or down here. Feel like I 
feel like down is the right way, technically, so we're gonna go up first and hope for the best. Might have to use another potion here soon. Hey, corn dog grew to level 10. Let's freaking go. I'm gonna look that up real quick too before I forget. Magic heart. Oh, okay. He can't do that on the site. Magic card moves. Gen 1. Learns tackle at level 15. Okay. So it won't be useless forever. Oh, yep. I guess going to the right was the right way. Because there, there's nothing up. I thought there was a trainer up here, to be honest. Uh, we're just gonna leave. High level Zubats are a no for me, dog. You're gonna be annoying. You're gonna have, like, Zubats and stuff. I mean, Tony and Paul are doing pretty good, though. We should be okay. Oh, oh, wait, you might have Hyper Fang. And you're level 16? We might have just messed up, boys. Get Pidgey out, I'd rather lose Pidgey than Tony. Going for the quick attack. Holy... Bruh, I don't know what to do, I'm scared. Alright, Tony? That was so much damage, boy. I should've just went to garlic, is what I should've done. Oh, <laughs> the freaking crit too? Bruh. <laughs> Imagine this is GG from a freaking Raticate. Okay. And there's the Hyper Fang. I knew they would have freaking Hyper Fang <laughs> and the flinch. Bro, I think this is the end of the run. <laughs> I mean, technically not. I can't use potions. That's the uh, hardcore Nuzlocke rules. Can't heal in battle. Um. <laughs> huh. I didn't expect a, a sudden level 16 that is just, like, destroying everything in one hit. Um... Because, I mean, technically it's not the end of the run if we die. We could try to completely rebuild with a single Zubat. <laughs> but, like... Nah. <laughs> not gonna happen. Um... Kinda wish I would've went into Paul, and then like... No, Paul would've died instantly to a uh, quick attack. Another freaking crit, dude! There's the quick attack, there goes Paul. <laughs> Tony! <laughs> <laughs> it's all up to you, Tony! <laughs> With the freaking Hyper Fang, too. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Sing. Put it to sleep, please. No crit. Another freaking crit! How many crits is that now, man? <laughs> oh my god. How many crits was that? 
Crits are based in speed in Gen 1. That's freaking garbage. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's it. <laughs> we lost the we lost the hardcore Nuzlocke to a freaking Raticate, man. <laughs> All right. Well, we got knowledge though. Question is. I know I said that, like, if we lost the hardcore Nuzlocke, we were gonna go down to regular Nuzlocke. Do we want to try another hardcore one, since we're still so early on? Or do we want to go to just normal Nuzlocke rules now? I'm okay with either. Oh. Maybe we do regular Nuzlocke now? get some experience with Nuzlocke's in general, and then we do a Pokemon Yellow Hardcore Nuzlocke, because I do have a copy of Pokemon Yellow somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So we could do a Pokemon Yellow Hardcore Nuzlocke. And then maybe we do, like, the Hardcore ones on every, um, on every special one. Ugh, not a bad idea. I mean, either way, we have to restart this one, no matter what, because, like, yeah, we we done lost. <laughs> Literally everything's dead except for Zubat. Uh, someone's PC. And gens with better quality of life. I mean, even Pokemon Yellow adds some better quality of life stuff. We have. Oh, you can't take any more Pokemon. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to double check that I didn't, like, forget something. Yeah, Zed. Zed the Zubat. That's the only Mon we have that's technically alive. Um, what was I saying, though? Oh, they redid, like, the movesets for Pokemon Yellow and made them more reasonable. I don't know if they did any bug fixing or anything like that, though. I'm not positive. But... The biggest problem with a Pokemon Yellow Hardcore Nuzlocke, honestly, is, like, the fact that you're kind of stuck with Pikachu because you can't evolve or anything. And love Pikachu. Pikachu's awesome, but stat-wise, Pikachu's just kind of garbage. <laughs> Either way, though, I'm calling it on that one. Log off. Uh, uh, power. Nope. Is there no way to just... I guess we just had to quit. I thought there would have been a way to... Like, quick reset, but I guess there's not from here. All right, number two. Uh, I guess it's not a hardcore Nuzlocke anymore. I guess we're just doing regular Nuzlocke now. Face of the game, but both of his other forms are better. Yeah, wait. <laughs> are you saying that uh, P2 is better than Pikachu even? <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that, but... Alright. New... Gen 1... Pokemon Red... Create game. There we go. Uh, we need to go into settings again, and... Blue screen. Alright! Oh wait, are all the other settings? Level caps, gym and rival. I guess uh, just gym is a option, but whatever. Okay, start up again here. Oh, and then with Pokemon, delete the hardcore. Do I start a new recording? Because we lost Nafs group. We'll just consider it all part of the same run. I don't really care. Ah, no. 